Hello dearies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If today is the first time stopping by, you're so welcome. My name is Selassie. I'm a registered nurse here in Ghana. So we are in admission season once more. Every school has opened its admission portal, especially the state schools. So nursing training forms are out, university forms are out, and everybody is trying to get admission. That is great. One question I've gotten and I thought was already common knowledge, but apparently it's not, or it's not to everybody. And that is how to calculate your aggregate score or your aggregates after uh, your WASD exam. Okay, so really quickly, let's just go through how to calculate your aggregate grade for application into any of the programs that you might be interested in. Before we calculate the aggregate, aggregate for every program you might be interested in, you have to look at the entry requirements that that program is asking for. The common ones when it comes to nursing and midwifery or any health programs in the country is English, Math, Science as your core subjects. So even though you do four core subjects, English, Math, Science, and Social Studies, the Social Studies is not accepted in the health programs or in the health training schools. So you need your English, Math, and Science, and then you, you choose your three best elective subjects. In Ghana, I know that most students do four elective subjects. If you did three, wahala for you, because if you've not passed all the three, that means you are in trouble. So let's say you did general arts in SHS. For you to be able to do nursing, midwifery, or public health nursing in UHAS, you have to have either elective mass, economics, geography, government, history, Christian religious studies, Islamic religious studies, literature in English, French, any of the Ghanaian languages, Akan, Ewe, Gan, whatever it is, you have the option to choose three out of these subjects. Now, when it comes to the calculation, the numbers attached to the WASI grades, A1, B2, B3, B, C4, C5, C6, those numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, those are the numbers you are going to add up to find your aggregate. So if you have A1, then 1 is the number. If you have B2, 2 is the number. If you have B3, 3 is the number, and so on and so forth. I hope you get that. Okay. So when we look at uh, this example of a resource slip here, this person is a general art student. Okay. This person is a general art student. So because the entry requirement is asking for English, math, and science, we have to pick this three, C6 for English, C6 for core math, and C5 for integrated science. So you see, even though social studies, he has B3, which would have boosted her, his aggregate, we cannot add social studies to the aggregate score. So C6, 6 plus 6 will be 12, plus 5 is 17. So the core subjects are giving us 17. Now for the elective subjects, because all the electives this person has are accepted for nursing and midwifery, we can pick the best three here. And the best three here are the Christian and religious studies where there is B2, government C6, and three, which is B3. So adding that together, two plus six is eight, plus three is 11 plus the 17 that we already have over there. So if you add it together, we will get 28. So this person for the aggregate score for applying for nursing and midwifery, he or she has aggregate 28 to apply for nursing or midwifery, which is not bad because for a diploma, you have up to aggregate 36 degree up to aggregate 36. It's just that for the degree programs, they have cutoff points, so you cannot exceed the cutoff point. If you exceed the cutoff point, you would have to apply as a fee-paying student. Yeah, so that's how you calculate your aggregate depending on the program you are interested in, all right? I hope this video was helpful. Like it, share and subscribe if you've not done that yet. And you can watch this video next, and I'll see you there. Bye!